ladies and gentlemen of the world of biocatalysts we go where the information could be induced fit into your brain speaking of induced fit let our little friends explain it to you look what is happening over there do you want to come with me hi i'm enzyme oh uh you must be substrate no yes i am finally found an enzyme oh no shape is not exactly complimentary oh no how can product be formed if the substrate can't bind to the active site of enzyme hey where are you going come here don't you know i'm not just a boring enzyme here binds to my active site Wow, I didn't know you can do that! This whole time is such an enzyme would have similar shape to mine! Cool, right? That's why you don't need to find the one that are similar to you. You just need to find the one who is willing to change for you. That's life. I mean, that's science. You're right! And now, we are enzyme substrate complete! I'm glad I found you! I'm glad you find me too! Wait, what? Why did I become two? You are now on the substrate. You are now called products. <laughs> but why did you release me? Oh no! I only want to bind to substrate. You are no longer in my service. Bye! <laughs> so, you're not willing to accept me for who I am now? No! <laughs> that must be irreversible substrate. Learn something? Don't forget to comment! Don't worry about that, ladies and gentlemen! I think that's it for today. But before that, you! As our viewer, tell us what you learned today. Mm, I learned about induced fit. The enzyme active site isn't complementary to its substrate. However, substrate binding inducing a slight conformational change in enabling catalysis. Once the product is released, the active side returns to its original conformation. Mm, that's it. Thank you, viewer. I guess that's the end for today. I'm Professor Noe, know everything. And I'm Professor Ino, I know. We, we hope you digest, digest the industry with, with your brain, brain and not with your, your amylase. Bye!